Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create this overlapping column chart which gives you insights into your data with just a glance. So for example, to explain this particular chart over here. Now likewise, there are also colored bars over here, the blue and the red bars. Now this is basically the sales for the current year, the year that you have selected in this slicer. Now the reason why we are in two different colors is because the sales this year for the category beverages and snacks is higher when compared to the same period last year. Likewise for the rest of the categories over here the sales this year is less than the same period last year that's why this is in the red color. Now, Once you understand this it becomes really easy and with just a glance you will be able to know what is happening with your data. So this is what I will be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me show you the data set that I have over here. It's a very simple orders table that I have and I have also created a calendar table. If you don't know how to create a calendar table, there's a tutorial on my channel, please check that out. And I have joined these two tables with the help of the order date field. And now let's come back over here. Let's start by creating a couple of measures first. So I'm gonna create the first measure here and call this as total sales is equals to calculate sum of my sales amount from the orders table and I'm going to create another measure to calculate the same period last year sales. I'm going to say same period last year, calculate total sales comma same period last year. I'm going to pass in the date from my calendar table and create this and now you can see that I have the same period last year as well as total sales of the current year which is 2023 and you can see that snacks and beverages category have the highest sales when compared to the last year and the rest of the categories here have lower sales when compared to the last year. So however now these bars here are appearing next to each other but we want to create the overlapping bar. So to do that we will have to add a couple of more measures. Now we will be making use of the error bars which is available within the column chart and if you have worked with error bars earlier, you will know that you will have to define the upper bound and the lower bound to create that error bar. So to define that upper bound and lower bound, we will create a few measures. So let's start by creating a couple of measures. So the first measure that we will be needing here is basically that error bar here always needs to start from zero, meaning from the base over here. So we will say base is equals to zero. And then let's start by creating a couple of more measures and this time I'm going to say last year underscore high is equals to let's create a couple of measures. So basically here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to identify the high of the last year. So let's start ly underscore h is equals to I'm going to use the max function over here and within that I'm going to pass in the all selected function. Now I have used the year slicer over here so I'm going to pass in the year field within all selected comma and I need to pass in the same period last year over here because I'm trying to identify the last year high sales. Now likewise I'm going to define another variable over here I'm going to call this as this year underscore high is equals to I'm going to copy the entire DAX over here and just change this part to total sales oops total sales right this is the current year sales based on the selection that you make over here and then I'm going to say return if my last year high is greater than this year high then return last year high else return a zero I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm and likewise I'm going to copy the entire measure and create another one here and just change this to last year low and just change the operator here from greater to lesser and then confirm. So now we have last year high and last year low. So now let's come back and create a couple of more measures and let me come here ly high copy the entire measure I'm going to select new measure paste this here and change this to this year high and make a couple of more changes instead of same period last year I'm gonna say total sales 
and instead of total sales i'm gonna say same period last year that it's only these changes that you need to make over here i'm gonna confirm this come back to ly low copy the entire code come over here create a new measure and paste this and change this to this year low and change the measure here again to total sales and then change this to same period last year and now let's start by creating a visual over here and now let me bring in the category and then bring in the last year high and last year low sales now let's change the visual here to line and stacked column chart make sure you always select the line and stacked column chart let's also add in the year slicer over here i'm going to come back just copy the year slicer over here and say don't sync and select 2023 and now you can see that we now have the values here displaying for all the categories let's get rid of let's do some formatting changes let's get rid of all the legends and titles that i have here on the chart and let me sort this here by category and let's go back to the columns here and change the color here to the gray color so that all of them appear same and then let's also increase the spacing to 50 this is the max that you can increase and now let's add the other measures on the y axis that we created let's go to orders and let's ty high and then ty low this year high and this year low we've now added them let's go back to the format tab this is only for the sake of reference because we want them to appear under the error bars so let's go back to lines and reduce the stroke width to zero because we don't want to see them and then let's come back to error bars over here let's turn the error bars on for this year high i'm going to choose the upper bound here go to the measure that we created select ty high and then go to the lower bound and select the base measure that we created and now you started to see the error bars however this bar here is almost touching the highest uh, range that we have on the y-axis so let's change the y-axis over here you can also make the y-axis dynamic for now I'm just gonna keep this manual and change this to about million and then I'm gonna also turn off the secondary y-axis and now let's come back to the error bars once again and let's go to the bar over here let's change the marker shape to none increase the width to about 10 that's the max that you can increase and change the color here to whatever that you like for the sake of this tutorial i'm going with here with blue i don't want to show any border here so i'm going to reduce the border size to zero if you want to have a border you can choose to have the border and then i'm going to come back here select ty low and repeat the same steps again this time i'm going to select ty low on the lower bound here i'm going to choose the base and turn this on of course and then scroll down change the marker shape to none increase the width to 10 and now change the bar color here to red or any other color that you would want to which signifies basically the reduce in the sales amount and reduce the border size to zero over here and now you have the bar chart created let's also change the title of this chart and call this as comparison chart have the center aligned if you want to have a background color you can have that and now we have the chart created if i choose a different year now you see that except for eggs meat and fish category all others have performed low when compared to the last year and if you want you can also add the data labels to this particular chart so with this chart you should be able to analyze or get insights into your data with just a glance so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.